Hi, here's a 2D project I'm working on. I'm aiming to make a 3D video. Let's get started. The project has the right mixture of clips. Highlight the clip and then power tools. Up comes the power tool settings. <laughs> Pretty obvious this. I check 2D to 3D. Oh, and read the cover message. The power tool process automatically converts standard 2D clips to 3D. Fantastic, that was so easy. Okay, we have to set the preview to 3D mode. And put on 3D anaglyph glasses. Notice the reminder image. Bottom right. Wow, you can see the 3D depth. Really cool. Preview 3D options depend upon your monitor and glasses. On my 2D monitor, I selected anaglyph in preview. 3D was visible with cheap glasses. Hey, now to 3D a photo in the project. Great. Highlight the photo in the track, power tools button, and then the 3D checkbox. That wasn't hard. <laughs> really easy to do, and so quick to make a 3D photo. With my glasses on, I check out the new 3D image. I want to play with the scene depth slider control just to see what happens. I tend to opt for extreme adjustment in the sliders. See, 0 is 2D and 255 is extreme scene depth. Wow, what a range! Each change on the slider generates a depth change in a photo or video. It's okay to move the slider around, to experiment with settings, or leave at default. Select Apply to All, and that's just the photos, remember. Allow a little time for the task. Cool. Job's done. Wow. A 3D icon appears in each photo placement on the track after conversion. Right, we're ready to apply to all on the video now. The project is made up of short clips with a lot of foreground and distance. 3D cameras operate best with a bit of foreground. I've chosen a project with similar aspects. Heck, that was quick. Way faster than the photos. Distant videos may not give great 3D, even with a 3D camera. So far, in my experiments, I've been impressed with what PD10's 3D conversion creates. Right, I'm now ready to play with the Produce section. In Produce, select the 3D tab. I'm choosing MP4 because the footage is in that format, and I have some 3D MP4s from a 3D camera. Selecting 3D output, now that will depend on what your TV displays. I made all three formats and see how they display. Remember your special 3D glasses. <laughs> I'm aiming to produce full side-by-side, -side, half side-by-side -side, and anaglyph as MP4. Later I'm going to see how the other formats fare. Quality, file size and speed of production. Now it's time to look at all three. Older graphics cards can restrict some PCs trying to display full side by side. Whichever you decide will depend on what your 3D setup is. For the moment, Anaglyph will do for me. Back to the beginning. I started with one short video clip and played around, then added a photo and did the same. I found moving the scene depth slider improved the 2D to 3D underwater clip I experimented with. My first rush was looking at a 3D bluebell wood. Truly amazing. I borrowed my son's high res castle photo to experiment with and got a surprise. I was hooked. I'm sure you'll have fun too. If you have any editing questions, look up the Cyberlink forum. I'll be there. 
Now you have a practice. Have fun and enjoy your editing.